Okay, it's off the little jack. Mm -hmm. So that scraping you're hearing? Mm hmm That's your brake pads on the... Uh, See, I was wiping off the rotor? Mm hmm That's all you're hearing. That's, that's, that's corrosion. Good. Yeah, that's just dope. That's just the... Uh, Condensation of rut, rut, like, yeah. yeah. it's gonna clean that rust off of there. So when you start driving and you hit the brakes, it's gonna clean all that off. Mm -hmm. But guess what it's not What's doing? clicking though? Hmm? Is, it... Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. is that brake or no? Yeah, that's the part of the, that's the brake still. But guess what? Yeah, we're probably gonna have to face, eventually we're gonna have to face that hub. the moment of truth lug nuts on, 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 on command key for the lock the lux uh, about two weeks ago yeah ball joint Control arm bolt. Control arm. Other boat. I was trying to make sure they compare. They're the same boat. They came out the same car, right? No, that's the that's that one right there. Oh, this is that boat. This this is the boat that was in there. That the that, old one, the yeah. wrong one. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay, bad. Job had been replaced. I mean, we found out that it had been done before and the wrong screw had been put back in there, which is this one. <clears throat> Just got the right one. These go to the brake caliber. Put those there. We'll be back on the road soon, y'all. That's the plan. About to actually put this bolt back in here and see if it fixes. I want to see this control arm and see. This side. It do got a dent in it, but I don't know if that's what you think. They're basically saying the only, only difference is the year that it came off of. Yeah. You still gotta rock the truck or you already took care of that? I got it. This weather ain't that bad. I can get used to this one. The other ones weren't feeling too good. What's that? The weather was a little bit more chillier. Oh yeah. Got the old wheel over here. And get him back on real soon.
do tutorial videos if you walk through the job. Huh? I said if you just talk about what you're doing, that'd be a tutorial a tutorial yeah. video. I'm taking my 5H wrench and I'm gonna put it on such and such bolt. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa. Basically, it's just the 19 to get the uh, the main bolt out right here. Pop that on and get a 19 on the back. And then let me grab an extension so I can uh, give me some more space. To work. Trying to let y'all see what's in there. It's a little tight in there, but. <clears throat> I don't remember did I ever pop no I didn't pop the hood I don't think I popped the hood to see what that line was. oh man to be able to ride again and not be leaking power steer fluid and everywhere is gonna be awesome Stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Okay, it's off the little jack. Need some more hands? No, no, I just had to get it higher so I could get the uh, socket on there. Because she was fighting me with the angle. Now I got that on there. Do you need the little jack to go up? So that scraping you hearing? Mm-hmm. That's your brake pads on the uh see I was wiping off the rotor. Mm-hmm. That's all you're hearing. That's the that corrosion. Thing. Yeah, that's just the that's just the uh condensation of rut rut like yeah. Yeah, it's gonna clean that rust off of there. So when you start driving and you hit the brakes, it's gonna clean all that off. Mm -hmm. But guess what it's not. But still clicking though. Hmm? Or is it is that brake or no? Yeah, that's the part of the that's the brake still. But guess what? We're probably gonna have to face eventually we're gonna have to place that hub. Take this old hub back. But it's not it don't have too much play in it. can't just buy the brick the rotor itself you got to buy the whole yeah assembly. but you did just put the, the two bolts in there on there oh, yeah. so let's just i'm gonna say i ride when we put it on there if it roll and everything else just tight, tight on there I'll, I'll i'll look at probably like an upgrade but let's just see if that's what was broke yeah and then we gotta see what this metal line is here that's part that's your egr goes here to your exhaust so I'll come out on that in the same size pipe yeah so is there wires running through there or, or is this what's what passes through there it's just a it's just a uh, fuel line, a fuel pipe, uh, exhaust pipe so it looks like part of the exhaust 
Oh, air, so air passed through there. Mm -hmm. We ain't touching nothing up here. Mm -mm. Well, no, nope. Nope. Bet you're leaking from the water pump. But this, cool, this is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. It smells like water. I did have some stuff going on under here, um, but you didn't you didn't do it. So now we're going to do this line. And you need to get a uh, sensor for your power steering. That's what that is right there. Remember that? Mm -hmm. It was something dangling. But uh, I thought you plug it up into. It's broken. Since it goes right there. Mm. See, it broke off, and they tried to use tape to to make it hold on there. Like mm -hmm. that's enough to keep the current on. I mean, as long as you got it on there, but it's gonna keep falling off. Mm. No, I'm just saying, what did that? Would that quick fix even work for them? <laughs> Putting the tape on there was it still working? No, they put the tape on there because it broke. Mm -hmm. So they just put the tape in there, hoping it would hold on there, but. Okay. We gotta take off the water pump. We gotta take off the water pump and the main pulley here, the crank pulley. These two gotta come off. Cause it goes in right behind there. I gotta take that housing off, put it on there. But it and, and the hoses is these, right? The ones that's being the one no, they're underneath. Okay. They're right here. Cause remember we had to move the power. The... You gotta move this box here out the way because the hoses are right here. Mm -hmm. That trying... hose right there. Yeah, I'm trying to see though if it's wet or dirty at all to tell if that's yeah. And I don't feel that. I don't think that's the leak. No, it's all because it's all over here. It's, not, it's all wet right over here. And I was talking about whether just like pushing that hose up instead of replacing the hose. If it is a leak, that's not it right there. Watch your gearbox. Come out this. Mm -hmm. Watch the bottom of it. You'll see it dripping from right there. I see it. I've been seeing it since it's been jacked up. I had to put the cardboard down there at first, but I think the wind moved it. But what is that? The leak out of there? This power steering food. Your gearbox. The, the, the line's going through the gearbox. So it's the line. Once we put it in the lines, we'll be able to yeah, see where it's else. Just drip, yeah. mm -hmm. Once we put it in the lines, we'll see where else it's dripping at. Yeah, so. See, I was thinking it was doing that because of how it was jacked that it actually. Could, so that was already. So that's one of the leaks for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's 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 probably just the seal on the bottom of it because when they put the uh, the Pitman arm and stuff on it, mm -hmm. if they took it off, if they snugged it too tight, it'll rip the seal. Oh yeah, well that right there, but that been uh, dripping since it been on that little jack. Yep. So it's a line in the gearbox. So I know what I'm looking at. I might I have some seals. I'll see if we can uh, save the, the gearbox and replace the seal on it. Mm -hmm. It's completely shredded off. It's old as hell. Um, as I'm getting back into here, I'm seeing more and more of these seals. So I'm guessing the some of the seal that we're seeing, maybe that rubber seal we were seeing. Mm -hmm. Might go to your distributor cap. I'm about to pull that off now. I was saying, like, we might not have the right seal. It was a piece of. We're probably else. we're probably gonna need all of them. Oh. Because, as you see, we pull this off. We need seals for this. Let's put this mm -hmm. back on. 
that's gonna stop the coolant from leaking. And then we're gonna I'm about to pop the the crank pulley up, the crank pulley off, and then the distributor so we can make sure all the seals. Because they aren't this is that orange seal we were looking at the other day, that rubber this seal. This hanging out. Yeah. And that's what's supposed to go on here? No. Or this seal looks like it's behind the distributor. Mm. And then there's a seal back down here behind this one. Alright. Got my boy KG behind the camera though. So what I'm trying to tell y'all, man, like, hey man, can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen, you hear me? Can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Hope y'all can hear me over the AC, man. But outside of that though, man, subscribe to the channel. Invite me, man, my second YouTube channel, you feel me? I'm over here waiting on y'all to get there. Tap in. I actually got two YouTube channels, so there's two different QR codes on each side of the truck. Just check them out. Yep, I do daily vlogs almost every day. Oh, did you take a picture or scan it? I took a picture of it. Oh, you had to scan if you take the picture? Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. It reached. Yeah, KG go hard. KG go hard. That's me, bro. I right, appreciate you, man. Right, no yep. Today's video is brought to you guys and sponsored you guys by KG Go Hard, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna put it on there right there. You know what I'm saying? Let the thing clear in. Yeah, make sure y'all go subscribe, like, hit the bell. You know what I'm saying? Go hit him on his last video and tell him, you know what I'm saying? Real to real sent you. You know what I'm saying? And we are here. You know what I'm saying? For some big support. But, um, yeah, make sure y'all do that, man. All the links are in the description uh, below to the channel. So make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? He just getting started. He won um, Mr. 75 Caprice giveaway. And um, he started a YouTube channel after doing it. That's why I told you guys, um, you guys can start your YouTube channel after you win these vehicles because It'll help you grow by saying that you own this person vehicle. You know what I'm saying? And it'll help you out in the long run. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys get y'all tickets for Big Boy Ramp Truck. And make sure y'all give him a subscribe. His link is in the description. And, uh, yeah, man, let's get back into the video. Peace. All right, guys, y'all know this video is sponsored to you by my boy Kevin Jones, man, uh, a.k.a. Kaji Go Hard. He won the Tahoe, the, the two-door Tahoe on 30s. From uh, from uh, Mr. Seventy Five Caprice, so he's out there living, man. He's lit. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna give y'all his um, you know, after this you're gonna see the links of his YouTube, his Facebook, and his Instagram, uh, and then in the description is where y'all gonna see the links to just go easily access to go subscribe, like, and follow him on all three platforms that he's got going on. His YouTube reminds me a lot of myself. Like I really like him guys so if y'all rock with me go rock with him he really showing like how to show love he's out there he's putting a camera in people's faces he's he's energetic he's ready to go he wants it um you know i think he needs it you know what i'm saying i needed it that's why i act how i act i need it you feel me so um i hope the best for him man and this video is sponsored to you by uh kaiji go hard so go give him a chance guys like i said he won the giveaway by um mr 75 caprice he came in first place and got the truck so big shout out to him and uh don't leave the video guys if y'all at the end of the video thank you for watching the whole thing if y'all at the middle keep watching guys i'll see y'all in a bit
<laughs> <Got me. laughs> All right, game man. This video is brought to you by by KG Go Hard. I need y'all to go mess with him, man. His real name is Kevin Jones. He won that car off of 75 Capri, Mr. 75 Caprice. Please go show him some love, game. He heavily invested into this. And just the real ones, I just need y'all to go over there and show him, um, you know, that y'all seen this and that y'all support him. At least go comment 32 game. Go run his subscribers up, run his following up, run his Facebook up. Um, you know, I'm doing my best for him again. I did a second video in a row for him. So it's because he actually reminds me of myself, guys. He does everything really, really good. He works super hard every single day on YouTube, guys. So if y'all have love for me, I need y'all to go show love to KG Go Hard. The links will be in the description of this video. Y'all can leave right now and go subscribe and follow him. That's how much I want him to succeed, guys. Um, also, make sure that y'all come back and enjoy the rest of the video. Um, some crazy shit happened, man, when uh, CJ and my mom seen each other. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And also, if you're at the end of the video, man, thank you for watching the whole video. Um, you are awesome. And then... Uh, you know, let's just keep going from there, guys. And uh, like I said, please go to the links in my description to subscribe, follow, and uh, add friend on Facebook to my guy, KG Go Hard, a.k.a. Kevin Jones. Big shout out to Kevin Jones, man. I see you, bro. I'm doing my best for you. Um, hopefully, people go over there and uh, message you. See you guys in a bit.